Done. Nope, maybe not. I'm going to try to move on because I don't want to spend all day out here with the uh, lid off. So I want to try to find the queen. Let's look at this next frame here real quick. I think this was the one that she was on before. But clearly she's been on the last two based on the uh, huge number of uh, brood that we saw in the last one plus a few brood on the uh, one before that. So I'm going to pick this up the way I used to do it before it's because this is uh, getting uh, frustrating for me to pick it up with that other thing. Oh, that's a beautiful pattern of brood there on that side. That is very, very good. Beautiful, beautiful pattern there. Nice and tight. Same thing on this side, pretty, pretty full. Uh, I see larva on this side, which is great. So uh, they, they lay the eggs first and they turn into the larva, they grow a little bit, and then when they're ready for their pupal stage, uh, then they cap them over and cap that on that side. So you can see that. I'll try to zoom in on that a little bit. I know when we get too close the camera doesn't uh, focus real well. So we'll try to zoom in on that a little bit. Show you that a little bit closer. It's very, very good. I uh, still don't see the queen. So we'll get this back in there and keep looking. Don't see her on this side either. Things are very, very good on there. Get this back in there carefully. Get that tight up there a little bit, give myself some space to work on the next one. All right. Oh, I smashed one there, dang it. That's not a good thing unless that one was already smashed. That doesn't make them happy either when you start smashing them. So, you gotta be careful of that. Try to move slowly here. Oh, come on now, girls, come on. Yeah, the guard bees are out after me again. They've really got some aggressive guard bees here. And I may have to, uh, may have to back up here again back out of here a little bit. I'm going to try not to run away. Try to just be calm and let them go back to their duties there. Okay, they seem to have left me alone now. Oh, nope, she's back. This is aggressive Annie again. She's just all about getting me. to know how to get in my uh, suit here too because she keeps going down to the bottom where I'm holding my hand. can't believe they're that smart but some people would like to believe, probably lead you to believe that they've uh, evolved to learn how to do that but ha, I say hooey to that. All right we're gonna have to keep moving here because otherwise she's just gonna keep uh, she's just gonna keep after me here so we got to move on to the next frame get this out See if we can find the queen, get in, get out, and get out of here. You can hear the mower next door. I've got to get to the same thing, so I've got to get uh, get this done and uh, get the grass mowed yet today. So, all right, here we go. This is frame eight. Okay, this one has no no brood on it. Just uh, fully drawn out comb, 
some honey stores. And this side, see, I don't know if they've, yeah, maybe they've had a batch already hatch out of that side because there's some still on that side yet to hatch out. So that could be potentially a bunch of new bees. So that's an interesting frame there. I was expecting by now to have gotten to the queen. I do not see her yet. There is potential that she's uh, out flying around. They do take off and leave the nest once in a while. So it's possible that she's out and about because I haven't seen her yet. But uh, we still have two frames to go. So let's uh, let's see what we find when we get uh, get down in here a little further. Okay, two frames to go. Yeah, remind me when I go back to uh, Queens right, I'm gonna take that stupid frame grabber thing back. That thing's a piece of junk. This doesn't hold that very tightly and squeezing it still doesn't seem to make any difference, so. Okay, here we go. Frame number nine. As long as these don't get too heavy, they're easy enough to pick up out of here, so. See, and that looks like it's got, well, I don't know if that was old brood or not, but that's uh, getting drawn out. Looks like they're adding comb to that as well. So that's really good that they're uh, working on that. I see some bees with their heads stuck down in there. Working on the bottoms of those uh, combs. Dropping that. Let's look on this side. Looks like they're drawing that out. They're actually capping the top across the top of that. They're capping that with honey. Uh, so that looks good. Finishing that off nicely, working hard there. So that's uh, that's a very good there. Some bees with pollen, pollen in the pollen baskets. So that's good also. No sign of the queen, which is uh, always concerning. Get out of there. Okay. Oh. Oh, my fingers are stuck in there. Ah, shit. Come on, baby. Ugh. So much of this gummy stuff in there. Hard to. Uh... All right, easy. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, shake that quite so hard. All right, let's get this uh, last one out of there. Let's see what uh, see what we can see on here. Oh, this one's a little heavier. Got all kinds of stuff being stored in here, honey and stuff in this one on the outside of this. And same on that one. This is the one that I stuck in there last week that uh, needed cleaned up. So they've cleaned that all up, gotten rid of the dead bees, um, and they're starting to uh, store honey in that one. So still no sign of uh, mama. So that's a bit disappointing and I haven't seen her yet. I don't know if I just uh, missed her as I was, oh no, she's right here. By golly, she's right there on that one. See her? Right there. She's checking out this frame for some reason. 
checking on this one to see what uh, maybe she's gonna lay some brood on this one so uh, there she is great to see her that uh, means things are still good here and uh, she's doing great so get her out in the sunshine where we can see her a little better try to get that up a little closer to the camera Ugh. okay all right now I'm gonna get this back in here last thing I want to do is squeeze her or do anything crazy there so I'm gonna put that in there gently get this back in here get this tight on this side without smashing bees again okay and now we got to go backwards we've got to go back this way I want to try to keep the integrity of uh, what was going on in there before keep the frames together that were together so see if we can uh, <laughs> lots of girls on there try to do this without man it's so sticky in here it's just too sticky trying to move that without jerking it and going too hard and then smashing bees in between all right come on get out of there yeah there girl all right girls come on Sometimes this works, but they don't really like this tool very much, so when I try to run that down in there to try to chase them out of there, they get kind of agitated at that too, so I'm never clear exactly what uh, what's going to work here to do that, so try to do that and run that up out of there like that, and then run that out like that, there we go. That's about the best I can do with that. So let's try to do the same thing. Try to run those off of there. I need to look at this as a foreign object, so I know that that's not... Uh, oh, crap. See, and then I just squished some more. Yeah, not good. Not good. Hive tool, foreign object, right? This is a lot harder than I remember it being before. This didn't used to go quite this difficult before. I remember having trouble, but not this much trouble. And I guess I'm trying to be really careful here because I really don't want to squish them. So part of that is that process there trying not to uh... come on get out of there what are you doing get out of there there we go Ugh. it's hard on the back too oh. and why they're concentrating down here too is not uh... and I guess I could uh those guys that like to smoke I guess that's a good way to do that too is to kind of smoke them in there and kind of chase them chase them out of there okay so that one's kind of tight so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that one up move on to the next one here Okay, got 
that side. Man, this is really hard. I'm trying to keep from. You know, I'm I'm really trying to keep from smashing you guys, and you're just not making this very easy on me. All right, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Whoops. Sorry. Good. I think I've only accidentally killed one today, so that's pretty good. Try not to kill any of them here, but it seems to be uh, challenging here. I'm trying to get them out of the way. Ugh. They're all over my fingers and all over the hive tool. They're just everywhere. Luckily, they're not stinging me, so I'm very, very happy about that. Very, very happy. Excuse me, girls. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're trying to go this way. Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Too fast, too fast, too fast. All right. Here we go. Sorry. Out of the way. Come on. Out of the way. Here we go. Whoops. I might have squished some on this side. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you got out of the way in time. 